beautiful. That's a treat. Look at the color on it. 2002. Mm -hmm. I'm starting to really get like that mushrooms, like really coming out. My name is Tahira Habibi. I am an entrepreneur, a mom, and I am a Samaya. The graphite, when I smelled it the first time, I thought about being back in elementary school. And so it just took me back to like, this really great place. When you travel, you start realizing how big the world is. It's a lot bigger than what I was taught to believe. I travel to build connections and partnerships with vineyards and wineries around the country and around the world. For me, wine is a way to travel and build community. A lot of times in the wine space, black and brown people are left out. But when I set out to create this organization, the Hugh Society, I wanted to change that. People always say, oh, you make it look so easy. And I'm like, doesn't mean that it is. By definition, a uh, sommelier is a wine expert. Welcome, thank you for coming. Someone who teaches you about wine. So today we are going to be tasting some delicious Verite library vintages. The key, I think, to becoming a great psalm, which is missed in a lot of like institutions, is the people skills. Culture and language are really important. So traveling, you get to pick those things up. I believe that wine is about memories. And the first thing that you smell is the truth. Don't worry about what I think it smells like. I want you to think fully for yourself and what that looks like. So let's start with the first wine. Cheers to memories. Thank you for joining. I read Wine Bibles this thick twice. You can read as much as you want, but experiencing things, traveling to those spaces was a way to learn about wine. I did not travel as a child. I didn't know it was a thing. The first time I got on a plane, I was in college. That first international trip definitely changed your life, for sure. I grew up in North Philadelphia. Lots of siblings, four girls and two boys. We were in this tiny house with all of these people, but at the same time, there was love there. This neighborly, communal kind of space. I was also very ambitious. Education was the only path that I had. And so I paid my way through college. Then that's where my initial interest in wine was sparked. I saw how people treated you when you had just a little bit of wine knowledge. Wine was power. So I started taking the wine classes. Being knowledgeable about wine for me was a huge drive. And it's different in every country. I went to Europe for a whole month and I bounced around different countries. Everywhere I went, I made sure I tried different wines because I wanted to taste the land. I wanted to see what it felt like to be over there. Just being able to see different parts of the world is just incredible. It changes the way you think about things. It teaches you to respect other people's cultures and it helps you grow. For me, that is when I learned wine was food because that's how they treat it in Europe. Food, agriculture. I was like, okay. This kind of brought it down to a, a baseline level that I could work with. And so that was when I had fully decided, like, yeah, I'm going to be a SOP. With all the things that I had learned, I decided I was going to move to Miami by myself, starting from scratch, trying to break into this. And I have to be really, really good and very self-aware. I'm a Black woman and everything that you do, people are watching, especially if they don't feel like you belong in that room or it's like, how did you get here? There's a sense of imposter syndrome because I didn't know another black woman who was a psalm in the wine space. It's hard when they want everybody to look the same. I remember I got sent home for having braids and told not to come back until I took those things out of my hair. It's just so much trauma that you have to go through but you're just being human. And so when you ask the question, of, what is going to keep you centered? What is going to make you a better person, a better mom, a better businesswoman? To show up as your full self is a dream. I was really good at my job, and I wasn't seeing it going back into my community at all. 
I really started evolving into this version of myself. I got nowhere to go but up. Angela Davis has this quote, when you go to these universities, when you go to these careers, it's your responsibility to take that back to your community. I've always been very community oriented. It's my natural state to be inclusive. I knew how to reach my community. I knew what the disconnect was. We didn't see ourselves. No one was talking to us in our language. Grab a glass. We deserve that. Because I want everybody to feel seen and loved and heard. So that was it. The Hughes Society. The Hughes of wine. The Hughes of people. Thank you all for coming out. One of the greatest things about this community is to be in a space where you can enjoy what you love as you are and you know, make a toast to um, authenticity, uh, community, and being in love with ourselves. Cheers. 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 It's really about the connection and making sure that people, they understand this is important work that we are doing together through our lens of culture, food, art, music. The world can adjust to us for once have to go to different cities in order to go and build these communities. We just opened a chapter in South Africa. I had to travel there. Traveling with your children is the best experience that you can give them. And South Africa is one of the best trips that I ever had. That was also the first international chapter that I opened. Under 3% of winemakers are black there. And so being able to go over there and talk to the decision makers, what adjustments can we make? And then you start advocating for people. Traveling has become such a huge part of my life in so many different ways, whether I'm traveling to show my daughter the world and broaden her perspectives. I'm traveling to vineyards for business meetings, whether I'm traveling to build communities. It's just such a huge part of my identity at this point. It has made me a better human, definitely made me a better mother. Traveling is how people connect with each other, how they find community. And there is nothing more important than community.